Got it in the booth. Welcome back to 23rd Garage, everybody. Today, we are back on the M3. We're hoping to get this thing painted today. I don't know how that's gonna go. I hope we can. Uh, but what we need to do right now, we need to go ahead and tape everything off. So we've got our foam, we've got our tape, we've got our plastic. All right, so Paul got the pink base coat down. <laughs> now this is a sealer and he tinted it with a little bit of red paint just to kind of give it that red color. It kind of turned out pink, but uh, that's gonna help with the coverage because red is a poor hider. So uh, right now Paul is hacking it real nice and then he's going to do the base coat and obviously the clear coat. Look at that, we got the base coat, the 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 final, I think, what did you do? Two coats of base, I yeah, think? two coats. Two coats of base, we got that down. Now it's time for the clear coat. Uh, we're gonna let it set up real nice so we can tack it real good. And uh, for now, we actually sold the airplane and we need to take it down to the frat house where uh, two of the guys who bought it. It's, uh, it's a group of college kids. They stopped by and they were like, hey, we like your plane, we want it. So we made a deal and we're delivering it. So let's go down there.
just to see. Punch it, roller. Let's see what we're going. No, we I'll had, we had to save the punching for Monday. Yeah, no, we sort of got a little head start. <laughs> we had to see what it was. All right, so we dropped the plane off and we came back and Paul's done. What happened, Paul? You couldn't wait? Gotta go. Man, we were over there putting that plane together. Hey, it's looking good, man. It's looking really good. I am so happy with how this turned out, man. I can't wait to get this thing all put back together, you know? get the rest. When are we gonna paint the rest of it? Monday? So Monday, we are going to spray the bumpers, the side skirt, the door handles, and, uh, the, mirrors. and the mirrors. Uh, we couldn't do that. Our booth is not big enough to do it all. We could, but it just, it's a lot harder to do that with bumpers and stuff everywhere. So I think this is going to be the better way to do it. But man, it's looking really good. I think Andre's going to be super happy with this. Mm -hmm. I'm happy with it. If this is my car, I'd be happy. So what, 20 minutes, 30 minutes on yeah. tape it? All right. So we'll give this about 20 minutes to set up. We'll come in here. We'll take all the tape off of it. And, uh, It'd be perfect, man. We're gonna come in on Monday, get the rest of it sprayed, and she's gonna be good to go. Andre can pull up next weekend, and uh, this car is gonna be out of here, and there's another car that they'll pick up too, so that's gonna be two vehicles out of here. That means the plane's gone, uh, the Jag's gone, Malone's car should be gone if he can come get it finally, and then, uh, yeah, the lot is clearing up. We just need to clear up some trash and just put some asphalt out there. What do you think, Nate? Yeah, nice drift pad. Yeah, put a big drift pad, or burnout, no, no burnout pads. No? No burnout pads. You know what's gonna happen if we have a burnout pad. We're well, gonna you, do burnouts. You don't have to seal the, the driveway though. You just, just do a bunch of burnouts and you don't have to ever seal it. <laughs> Man, I'm so happy. This this is like a big weight off my shoulders that it turned out so good that it's, you guys don't even know. It's a big job, very big job. And to have it at this point, it's very, I'm very thankful, very grateful. Good job, Paul, very nice. Now we need to go and start getting rid of more stuff off the lot. But yeah, Monday, uh, Monday I guess we'll spray this. Yeah, probably, I don't know, I was thinking doing the Bronco too. Monday? I mean, it's not gonna take long to spray that stuff. I get it done, just, yeah, I, so, I don't wanna wait too long in between painting the well, dad, dad is on me about the frame machine. He keeps asking me, he keeps giving me subtle hints. Why is, why is the Bronco not done? Why is it still in the frame? How long is it gonna be on the frame? Uh, but yeah, well, we're just gonna get this thing done, get it wrapped up, get it out of here. Uh, we should have done that anyways before we even started the Bronco, but it's okay, we'll get it done.